Which is a better AI solution? ChatGPT projects or perplexity spaces? In this quick video, I'm gonna try to help you answer that in less than five minutes. So be sure to stick around to the very end. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you wanna know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I use for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for that in the video description or pinned comment below. So like I said, I'm gonna do my best to compare ChatGPT projects versus perplexity spaces in under five minutes. Now, first of all, what are ChatGPT projects? These are knowledge hubs that you can create inside ChatGPT with custom instructions, adding project files, and you can also organize and manage all of your chats. This has been one of my favorite updates that ChatGPT has released. I do have a full tutorial explaining how to build ChatGPT projects step-by-step. -step. I'll leave that in the video description below if you want to check that out. Perplexity spaces, on the other hand, are very similar to ChatGPT projects. This is just Perplexity's version of this. It's still a knowledge hub where you can add custom instructions right here. You can upload sources, and it's also another way to manage all of your different chats. So what are the main differences between the two? Well, first of all, let's talk about accessibility. Perplexity spaces are 100% free to create, even on the free version of Perplexity. The only difference here is on Perplexity Pro, which costs $20 a month, you can alter the different AI models inside one of your spaces. So what do I mean by this? If I click the checkbox here, by instructor, the edit box by instructions, and I scroll down, you'll see AI model right here. Well, the benefit of using perplexity spaces is we can toggle and use all of these different AI models in one space. We can use Sonar, which is perplexity's advanced model, GPT-40, obviously that's Chad GPT's model, Grok 2, we can use Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Gemini 2.0 Flash, and even O3 Mini, all within this one space. Now, ChatGPT projects, on the other hand, are not free to create. I just double checked this on my free ChatGPT account and you still must be a member of ChatGPT Plus or one of the higher paid tiers in order to create a ChatGPT project. I believe Sam Altman said that this will be available to free users of ChatGPT in the future, but as it stands right now, you have to be a paid subscriber of ChatGPT Plus, Pro, Teams, etc. in order to create projects. So I have to give the nod to Perplexity Spaces when it comes to accessibility over ChatGPT projects. Now, another thing to mention is I am a member of ChatGPT Pro and I do not have the ability to share this ChatGPT project with someone else. I can't create a URL and share this. Versus my perplexity space, on the other hand, you'll notice this invite button up here. If I click invite, I can simply invite contributors via email and they can now access this perplexity space with ease. Now, also going back to the AI models, another huge difference here is that once you create a ChatGPT project, so in this example, I use GPT-40, you cannot change models once you've already created a project. I would have to create a new project and use O1, for instance, and then the rest of those chats in that specific project would be O1 versus on a perplexity space, I can literally come in here and toggle all of the different models within each chat. I can start a new chat right in that perplexity space using Grok2, start a new chat with Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Again, you must be on Perplexity Pro to change the AI models in a space, but it's no different than ChatGPT projects considering you have to pay $20 a month to even create these in the first place. So once again, perplexity spaces gets a nod here. And another benefit of using Perplexity Spaces over ChatGPT projects is we can use what's called Perplexity Pro Search paired with DeepSeek's R1 reasoning model. We can also use O3 Mini right here as well. In addition to that, and why I love Perplexity in general, is you can access the real-time web. You can do that on ChatGPT as well, but you can also add academic sources and you can also add social, so forums, discussions, social media profiles, etc. versus a ChatGPT project, what I notice about this is you can't even add the search functionality when you're using a project. I'd have to start a brand new chat outside of a project in order to enable ChatGPT search.
Now you might be thinking, well, Ryan, are there any benefits to using ChatGPT projects over perplexity spaces? And not really the more I think about it. The only benefit that ChatGPT projects have over spaces are the usage limits. On ChatGPT Plus, you get a lot more usage for GPT 4.0 and all the other models that you get access to here. And on ChatGPT Pro, you actually get unlimited usage of a lot of these models versus on a perplexity space, the usage is very limited of the different models. And that's the biggest downside of Perplexity Pro, probably in my opinion, is if you're a super user of Perplexity and these spaces, you will run out of usage for these models very quickly. But honestly, that is the only downside that I can think of when comparing ChatGPT projects to Perplexity spaces. So now I want to hear your thoughts on ChatGPT projects versus perplexity spaces. Do you prefer one over the other? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you found value. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.